What's going on? It's my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Watch. I'm going to bring you guys a story out of Harvey, Illinois. Police involved shooting. Story is going to read, Family of man shot dead by police in Harvey calls for arrest of troopers. Now, I did watch this show, watch this video last year. And I didn't think anything of it until new details came out today. So, this is him here. This is Darren Green Jr., 30 years old, was 30 years old. This happened on 147th and South Halsted in Harvey, October 7th, 2020. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys the video of this police-involved shooting. There was two other girls in the car. One of them grabbed a kid out the back. A female was driving. He was the passenger. They're going to pull him over and ask some girl to step out. The other two girls, and they asked him to step out. He tried to jump in the driver's seat. It appeared he jumped in the driver's seat and tried to pull off. He ends up dead. But, but, there's more to it, to the story, than what you guys are going to see in the news footage. And I'm going to tell you guys, after I go through the news footage, I'm going to tell you why it's more to the story. The news footage look cut and dry. It's not. The dash cam video starts just before 1230 Wednesday morning. An Illinois state trooper behind the SUV at Halstead turning right onto 147th in Harvey. The trooper initiates a traffic stop. Oh, the window's down. How you doing, ma'am? You don't have your headlights on. The trooper later requests the female driver to get out of the vehicle. Hey, hey look at me real quick. You'll put that stuff down. I want you to step out real quick. I want to talk to you out here. Is there any reason you forgot the lights or what? No. I thought they were going when they automatically cut off. The trooper instructs his partner to help the male front seat passenger, later identified as 30-year-old Darren Green Jr., out of the SUV. The trooper on the left side of your screen then opens the driver's side door. Hey, bud. Okay. Hey, gun, gun! Don't move! Don't move! Stay there! Emergency assistance! Please say in the vehicle there's a struggle with Green over the gun while a woman and child are in the back seat. You see the woman and child barely get out of the SUV as police say Green drives away, hitting a nearby bus shelter. During that time, they say a shot was fired from Green's gun. Green was shot in the head. Investigators say the troopers did not fire their guns. Shot fired! Shot fired! Are you all right? Yeah. Got him. Are you all right? Yeah. I don't know, bro. As the troopers await EMS, they repeatedly tell Green to stay with them. Come on, man. Come on. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Green was pronounced dead later that morning at a hospital. The trooper on the driver's side of the vehicle has been with Illinois State Police for 11 years. The other trooper, only 11 months. Illinois State Police say the investigation is ongoing and being reviewed by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Hey. All right, so now you guys know I always, always take you out to exactly where it happened. It happened right here. That's the uh, uh, bus uh, booth right there. So he made that right right there by that Walgreens. And the stop happened right here. This is where everything went down right there. All right, so now what I want to point out to you guys is going to be this. All right, so what's not so transparent? I already know what people are going to say. Stop resisting. You won't get shot. Somewhat true. Um, that is definitely something I wouldn't recommend, young brothers and sisters. Don't resist. Just take that charge. All right, so, but before I do go and get into all that, I want to show you guys on what the family is saying. Hey, here goes some red flags that we ain't feeling. So... One of them is that they're saying Darren Green Jr. was shot in the back of the head. So the initial story is saying that he pulled off with the cops. Now, the cops do, if you dragging a cop, they do have the right to shoot you. I'm not saying it wasn't justified if the cops, but the cops didn't do the shooting. Nobody's arguing that point. When you pull off with the cop and he's dra dragged like that, his life is in danger at that point. You can drag him. You can kill him underneath the car. He does have the right to shoot. All right? But that is not what happened. Neither cop shot their weapon. 
So, but the, the, the cop on the driver's side jumped in the car. The one on the right side got dragged a little bit and was outside the car. While inside the car, the family is saying Darren Green Jr. was shot in the back of the head. And what the police account is saying, no body cams. That's red flag number one. It's like, wait a minute. Two, who pulls off from the cops, grab a gun, and shoots himself in the back of the head? Who does that? Very odd. That's very... They're saying he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. He pulled off and just offed himself. So I thought that maybe, okay, was it in the front of his head? Still a little weird that you would try to pull off from the cops and just shoot yourself. But they're saying the shot was in the back of the head. They're saying that Trooper Christopher Ellers has a history of excessive force. It took them seven months to determine the cause of death, how, why, um, and the the death was ruled a homicide. Seven months? They released the body cam footage pretty early, but the coroner's report and the so the family is saying, "Hey, man, there's something fishy going on. Some funny ain't adding up." So, I want to talk to you guys also about, can the cop pull you out of the car? So, if they stop you, can they pull you out of the car? Um, an officer who stops you for alleged traffic violation has the right to assist you and your passenger to get out of the car. Um, you should get out if asked or instructed to do so. Simply put... Simply put, you should follow the officer's directives, but begin with the assumption that you should remain in the car, and you should also assume that the officer is on alert, ready to interpret a failure to follow instructions as a threat of danger or an attempt to flee. All right? Young brothers and sisters, stay out of trouble, and... Keep your gun at home. For one, get caught with it. That's a felony on your record for life. Every time you try to go get a job, they can say, Up, oh, felony, gone. It ain't worth it. We got concealed to carry now, man. So, hey, try to get that legally. Obtain that legally. Get that concealed to carry. You golden. Try to keep the felonies off your record. Not worth it. Also, um, probable cause. When can the police search your car? The police are allowed to search your car, but they cannot do so for no reason. The officer must have probable cause to believe that you or your vehicle. reason why I'm bringing you guys this, because dudes should have stayed cool. They could pull you out. They didn't have probable cause to search the car. If you had a gun, stash that joint under the seat quickly. If you throw it out the window, I don't know. But by the time they get to the car and you stopped and they tell you to get out, it's too late to try to stash it, whatever you're trying to do with it. And then when you hear the police saying, gun, gun, that means they got the right to shoot you and they're going to say, oh, see, he reached for his gun. So when they see a gun, the yell gun, it's all bad from there. Probable cause to believe that your vehicle is or has been involved in a legal activity, probable cause could be based on something the officer sees in the car, looking into the car, for example, or smell of drugs or legal alcohol, whatever. This does not necessarily need to be a physical evidence vis visible for the officer to believe that he or she will find such evidence by searching the vehicle. However, in such cases, the officer must be able to clearly state why he or she is in such belief and should search your car. So, first and foremost, people understand the law. The car is not a courtroom. The car, you will not win. On the streets, you will not, and I repeat, not. All bad. 
can't yell yourself out a ticket, you can't resist yourself out a ticket. You're done. Whatever charge you're going to get, you're going to get it. It's too late. Especially when you have a gun. Your life ain't worth it. Go on, take that felony. You shouldn't have had it. Then you putting your life in somebody else's driving. I had to tell one of my partners, bro, if you don't drive illegal, have your seatbelt on. Have your lights on. Stop. Don't speed. Be low key. And extremely important to remember that uh, if you consist, consent to a search, an officer does not need a warrant. So a lot of times, police officers will come to me, can I search your car? No, you can't. And at the time, I didn't know I had a choice, but since he asked, I told him, no, sir. Absolutely not. Furthermore, the officer does not necessarily have to ask uh, for your permission directly or clearly. If they make an attempt to a search and you allow it, you can lose your ability to challenge the legality of the search down the road. Hmm, that's interesting. So, man, hey, people, if you're going to do illegal activity, learn the law first. You have every right to tell the officer in no uncertain terms that you do not consent to a search. Your refusal will not necessarily prevent the search, but refusal preserves your ability to bring up the legality in the search as a defense strategy if the officer finds anything illegal in that ride. Let me break down this video. This video. The dash cam video starts just before 12:30 Wednesday morning. She had no headlights. They pulled over for no headlights. In this vehicle, you're gonna hear the cops say, "Did you shoot him?" But they didn't put that in the closed caption. Who was shot in the head? Investigators say the troopers did not fire their guns. Listen to him. Are you alright? Yeah. You shot him. They didn't put that in the closed caption, though. No. Yeah. I don't know, bro. As the troopers await... E Are you alright? Yeah. I don't know, bro. As the troopers... Oh, wait, wait. You shot him? You shot him? Shot him? Are you alright? Yeah. You hear that? He said you shot him? I don't know. That's what he said. You shot him? But he didn't know. Uh, so, the family is like, hey, that trooper that jumped in the car, they think that he grabbed uh, Dan Green Jr.'s gun and shot him himself. Um, I think body cam should be absolutely mandatory for every cop, man, because the body cam would have told us. And if a cop tampers with that evidence, that's tampering with evidence, especially in a case of a shooting, that's destroying critical evidence. That should be a felony. Instant termination. Anyway, for those of you on Facebook, go to YouTube, go to My Life in the Shy, My Life in the CHI. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Anyway, peace, peace.